In this video I'm going to show you a super easy way on how you can sell digital downloads on Etsy by using the new platform My Designs. Now the best thing about this is you can actually sign up to My Designs totally for free. You get one gigabyte of free upload space with them. In my case that was already enough to make regular daily sales. So for those of you who don't know what digital downloads are, it's quite a massive thing on Etsy for example. There's loads of shops with tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands of sales and all they're doing is selling digital files and this could be lots of different things there could be graphics illustrations there could be ready-made textures templates and all sorts of things digital that you can think of that might help someone speed up their work process or save them time. And this is actually really complementary to the print on demand business model because if you ever design some of your own stuff, you can re literally resell this to other people through Etsy so that they don't have to design stuff themselves. So the reason my designs are so good is because they automate a lot of the process of creating mock-ups, creating descriptions, titles, and actually uploading the products to Etsy all on autopilot to save you a lot of time and also you know making the whole digital download business a lot easier. If you do everything manually it can be very time consuming. Another way my designs can be really helpful to existing digital download sellers is for example if you sell a lot of bundles and you have like hundreds of files that have used in bundles laying around but you can't be bothered to upload them all as individual listings which do sell as well. Some people just want to get a cheap single file so instead of spending all that time uploading hundreds of files manually you can literally just put them all into my designs add the mock-ups in bulk add the descriptions in bulk hit publish and it's done for you you've saved yourself hundreds of hours and uh, you can make some easy extra money on the side so to begin with we're right here on the home page of my designs and I will leave a link to this in the description so you don't have to search yourself on Google and basically what this shows you is all the features that the software has and how it can save you time and then you can sign up to a free account right here no credit card required or you could also do it at the top I think where it says sign up and once you've done that you basically want to sign into the workspace and it will open up this dashboard for you so as you can see I've used 1.7 gigabytes of 30 gigabytes that's going to look different for you because I've just signed up to the annual plan you should have one gigabytes of free storage or I believe they're even going to raise the cap soon to two gigabytes so you might even get more free storage if you're watching this in the future and to start selling your designs you basically want to click on listings and then create a new folder right here so to do that hit home then click this little plus icon right here give your collection a name or your folder and in my case I'll be doing the example with cartoon animals so that's what I'm going to call the folder but depending on what you upload give it a name so you can find it in future we want to actually open up that collection so click on cartoon animals basically and then you want to upload your files right here in either SVG PNG JPEG or PDF format and I recommend using SVG just because it's a vector format which is a perfect starting point that you can then convert into all of the other files that my designs offers uh, you could also just do PNGs but you can actually convert a PNG back into a vector so I'm just gonna quickly pull my files in like so you can just drag and drop it and then hit upload designs I'm just doing this example with six files but you could do this with way more at the same time so to start giving these some titles tags and descriptions in bulk you want to click on the template button and then hit load templates then you want to locate the HC digital which is a preset template provided by uh, my designs and you just want to click install and then you write confirm in this little box so you can actually confirm that and now you should have the same sort of boxes right here but we're going to customize the template further just so we can then save it and uh, use it in future to save even more time while we upload a file so the first thing I recommend you do is uh, have a look on Etsy at different digital download listings for a description. So basically the main things you're going to want to have in your description is first of all the file format. So files provided maybe and then a list of the files. Then you also want to say that it is a digital download, not a physical product because some people do get confused sometimes. So that's important. And you want to basically have some instructions there. In terms of the files provided, uh, My Designs offers things like SVG, PNG, DXF, PDF, 
EPS and the last one would be JPEG and basically depending on which of these files you select you can choose them all or if you don't want JPEG you just take that one out for example. Okay and there we go I've just written out a quick simple instruction sentence right there you could use that as an example as well if you wanted to and moving on to give this some tags you basically want to start off with things that are related to the designs that you're selling or the product so in my case I would put animal um, maybe nature cartoon and then you want to put some of the standard stuff in there like the the file formats SVG PNG because people might look for animal SVG for example maybe put digital download graphic design or clip art once you're done you head over to the inventory and pricing tab and here you're going to want to decide your price so for singular graphics i recommend something like maybe one or two dollars and the quantity i usually just put 999 i also recommend adding another field by click create field and you want to call this field formats the reason for this is we're going to use this in the thumbnail the type can just stay a text and then hit create field as you can see it's added it down here and for this we're just going to list basically the files that we have in the description over here already so svg png dxf pdf and eps we're done with everything so we hit save changes and as the action we're going to select update template and designs that way it's going to overwrite all of the listings that we have in our folder so update design and now when you come back you see that all of these listings now have the same description the same tags right here and this little formats tab as well as the pricing now if you wanted to save this template for future use so you don't have to do this from scratch then i recommend hitting save as and giving it a name such as etsy template then save template down here and you're going to find it in the load template section right so once we've done all that you could obviously add individual tags if you wanted to like you might want to add camel for this one and then cat for this but there is a quick a way to go about this which works if your file names are basically the main keywords of your design so in my case I've named this file camel and I've named this cat I've named this cow etc the way we can use that information in the file name is by clicking select all go to more actions edit in bulk would we'll change this to begin with to tags so it's going to add information to our tags field the action i'm going to change to add to front because i want the main keyword to be at the front and then i'm going to add a variable down here so go into the tags field hit add variable if you select app you can then see file details primary file name so I'll just hit update so you can see what happens. As you can see, camel, cat, it's carried over the file name, cow, dog, and added it to the tags field right here. You can do the same thing for the title. So what I'm basically gonna do is just give it a very short title for the thumbnail, and um, we're gonna worry about the longer title for Etsy later on. So the action can be add to end because we have nothing in there anyway. So we click into title, hit add variable again, change this to app via details primary, and file name then click into the title field and you could add for example svg you could do clip art this is just what it's going to say in big letters in the thumbnail and what you want your customer basically to uh, be attracted to and then hit update six listings yes now we're actually ready to start creating some mock-ups and to do that you click more actions right here then mock-ups and as you can see we've got loads and loads of wall art right here which is amazing because wall art digital downloads sell really well on etsy and you also have different categories like stickers or clothing as well what i usually do is i start off with a digital image um let's say this one for example and then you have the option to decide what text is shown on the background image so for the primary keywords right here i'm going to select the title the color is going to be uh, black in our case because the background image is going to be white you can change the color of the background image if you wanted to as well the secondary keyword is going to be the formats and that's the reason we created that extra field the last thing you have to do is select the output slot right here which i'm going to pick mock-up one that's the first mock-up that will be shown on etsy and if we generate a preview right now you will quickly see what all of these things mean when they go into effect so now you can do this different ways you can put your tags down there you can put your description down there whatever you want this is just a method that i use because i think it's a clean and simple thumbnail and you have different options for the background images here as well so you can you can play around generate a preview 
menu and just see which one suits you best. So that's just add a different texture there. And when you're finished, you basically hit create mockups and it's gonna add this job right here to your queue on the right hand side. And this can take a little while, but you can also do things while the job is processing. And now if you want to actually take a look at your mockups, you can come over here, change this from file slots primary to mockup one. And that way you can see all of the mockup images. If we now move back to the mockup section right here, we could create more mockups on sort of t-shirts or wall art, for example, so that the customer can imagine what the graphic is going to look like in your use. Browse through and basically pick one of these images that you like. So for example, if you say like this one, you can generate a preview to see what it looks like with the design on there. That looks really nice, really realistic as well with the shadows and that. So now we're basically gonna choose the output slot right here. I'm just gonna select mockup two and then just click create mockups and now do the same for um, clothing. This one right here, for example, you can change the background color of your top as well. Hit generate and the output slot is going to be three in this case. And there we go. That looks really cool as well. A very typical Etsy style thumbnail. So um, create mockups there as well. And now if we change the file slots over here to mockup two, you can see all of our wall art images. And uh, once the next job is done, we can go on to mockup three as well. And you see all the t-shirts right here. So we're nearly ready to publish these to Etsy. The last thing I would just recommend is now that we're done with the mockups, change the title to something a bit more informative with some of keywords in there that people might actually be looking for. So head back into more actions and then edit in bulk and you want to have the title selected and this time change the action to add to end. Put things like the formats, so the formats down here. And the reason I'm not spelling them in capitals is because you can't uh, use a lot of capital words on Etsy's listings. Then you could put a comma and say uh, commercial use, instant download, graphic, something like that. You can also see a preview down here, by the way. So while you're editing this, it makes it easier because you can see what it's gonna look like. Then hit update six listings, yes. And now I believe we're ready to hit publish. So hit this publish button and click digital platforms Etsy and for you if you're starting out this might look different because you still have to connect your Etsy shop basically all you have to do is follow the instructions on screen it's really easy you just have to log into your Etsy account to I think grant access to my designs to access your Etsy data and then as soon as that's done it literally takes a few seconds you can then actually go through the publishing process on here. So once again, once you hit publish, click that, convert files to various file types. As you can see right here, you can either select or deselect these, um, but you could use all of these if you wanted to. Then you want to go on to next step where you can choose the category. I usually just use the defaults, but you could use a different category on Etsy if you wanted to. Then click next and to select your mockups, basically go through, we created one for mockup one, two, and three, and you can also select the primary one, so either this one with the background, or you could also use the wall art as the primary if you, if you wanted to. Then you do get the option to add a watermark. Basically, you could use your shop name or just put watermark if you wanted to, I don't know. And then it's gonna overlay that text onto your image, so it's harder for people to copy. But uh, once you click next step, see your your listings, just an example again, then click next step. And now you should be able to select your shop right here if you haven't already, or you have if you have multiple shops and then just click publish. And there we go, it's added that job to our queue once again. And then all that's left to do for you is open your Etsy shop, go into the drafts and hit publish. It's not gonna do the paying the listing fee to Etsy automatically. You still have power over that. I hope this helped you understand my designs better. And I hope it'll help you sell some of your own digital downloads on Etsy. If you still have any questions, just leave them down below in the comments. And if you want to learn how to design some stuff that you can sell as digital downloads, then I recommend you check out this tutorial where I show you how to create boho rainbows using Adobe Illustrator.